Hey guys, and welcome to episode 200. Wow, it's already episode 200. Thank you guys so much for following us all this way, for liking and subscribing, and especially to all our Patrons who made it possible. Join us in the next few videos as we get Catalpa ready to cross the Indian Ocean. And in this video, we replace our old batteries. So stay tuned. Wild and free, baby, we can dream farther than our eyes have ever seen. All right, guys, today's job is to cut open the floor um, underneath here is some old diesel integral tanks. Our old battery bank's under here. We want a slightly bigger tank and we want to pull the weight of the batteries more to the center of the boat and create a bit more space for provisioning for our big crossing. Um, so I'm hoping to get three 250 amp hour batteries under here. If all works out, I cut this open and there's enough room, fingers crossed, and um, tidy up a bit of the wiring in Catalpa. So. In a bit of a nutshell, I've just taped out the size of my lid here on the ground. Um, I'm going to set my saw blade to roughly the thickness of um, the floor tiles here and the timber and underneath that's another layer of timber which I'm then going to cut in a little bit closer so that acts as a lip to sit on. So hopefully it's not too hard and that will initially come out and I'll have another layer of timber under there which I can cut my hole out, place the batteries in, tie them on, job done, wham bam, thank you ma'am. Da 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 So to have a little break, clean up, and um, I'm gonna have to go and buy a vacuum cleaner. Ah, oh, we got a good space. We think the batteries are gonna work. So hopefully they work. Otherwise, we've got another bit of storage in here. This is our old battery bank. We had in here four 165 amp AGM batteries. All right. Well, today was a success. I've cut a hole in the floor to make room for these new batteries. So all these ones here will be gone. I'm gonna just sort of tidy up all these wires and make this another big food locker for flour and just basic provisioning. And they're gonna live down here in this locker that I've just created and opened up. This was an old fuel locker. And uh, we're gonna turn that into our new battery locker. Go up, babe. So, you got to order the batteries? How are we getting the batteries? No, I'm not sure yet. I may have to go and pick them up. Um, we'll just see. I'm a bit concerned about delivery. Um, I think they're 70, 75 kilos of batteries. So they're 250 amp hour batteries and I want three of them. So I'm not sure whether I make the effort to do a four hour uh, drive in a car. Um, just to pick them up so I know they don't get dam damaged in the courier side of things. So that may be what's happening. But yeah, we're gonna end up with a new food locker through here. I'll redirect a lot of these wires down into here. That's heaps. That's us for a couple of months of uh, flour, bread, all those things I use to make up my... Flour and bread. You're gonna <laughs> store flour and bread in there, are you? <laughs> flour and seeds and nuts and... <laughs> Oh, we know, we I, know who provisions the boat. All those things I cook with. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. We could use that room. It's going to be amazing. Cause... And it's it's just a bird's nest. This, when we first got the boat, you couldn't actually see the batteries. It was just wire everywhere. So I've got a little bit more tidying up to do, but I don't have much time. Time is ticking. We've set ourselves three weeks to departure for the Indian. And uh, yeah, busy, busy. Lee decided it was best to drive to Kuala Lumpur to pick up our batteries. So he hired a car, grabbed a mate, and off they went. Penang to Kuala Lumpur is about a four hour drive. We've made it to the battery place and paid for the batteries. 
Um, we have our batteries, but we need to try and find some wire. So I don't actually have the wire here that we needed, but let's see how we go. 75 kilos of battery, I think. So we're gonna try and squeeze three of those in this car. I think we'll be right. Success, they found the wire. So I've just filled up at the service station and um, I just had a look at our suspension. I feel like I'm 18 and I've got a, like a lowered car. All loaded up, they drove the four hours back to Penang. So Lee's back from Kuala Lumpur and we've got the batteries. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, I'm going to crash. Safely down. If you get it, let it go, it'll go in the water. <laughs> so, please be super careful. He didn't trust us doing it on our own. <laughs> Good job, guys. So after a long drive to Kuala Lumpur, which is about four hours away, Lee has returned with the batteries. <laughs> now they're having races on the Seven volts is a full battery. We're at 12.9. We're full. That's fine. 12.9. Point. We'll say 81. It's 81.9. Oh, it's gonna be so close. Let's get these boxes down and see if it fits. Oh, he's a nervous boy. That's what I'm nervous All right, about. so we've got one in. We've got. This is the second one, but. Lee just measured and now he's a bit nervous. We've got three mil to play with. Do you think three of these is gonna fit in here? Don't go anywhere, folks. Make sure you like this episode, subscribe, and uh, we'll be back real soon. Okay, it's a real struggle. There's 70 plus kilos in these batteries. We've got one in. Been the hardest work's actually just getting getting it down the boat, getting it down the stairs, two up top, two below. We've just done a measurement and we've found we've got three millimeter spare to play with. And wow, that's I'm don't know, I'm not 100 percent confident on this, but we'll see if it fits. Why does he want to have trial runs when the thing we're lifting 75? Oh, I've, got to pull, I've got to pull all these out and I've got to drill holes up in there, they can't be in there. Oh I know it fits with the foam in there. And then I, I know I just need to see if three fit. Job done if that's the case. 
I can run all my wires up or drill holes up into the compartment and go from there. Are you going to do that tonight? No, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I've been up since 5 o'clock, it's now like 7 o'clock. I've done like 800 kilometres of driving, been to battery shops, been chasing, been to welding shops where we got our wire from. So we actually got our welding wire, 50 millimetre squared wire, which being welding wire, it's actually double insulated and really thick. So, but really cheap over here too. Okay, Bella, you got a hand? Okay, don't drop it. Slowly go down, watch your fingers. Okay. What? Oh, that is the other one's sitting on the foam and that one's not. Down after, that can have a foam bed. That'll be perfect. What? Shivers. 47. Oh no, 46, 46.7. We might have maybe one and a half mil or so. One, two, three. Watch your fingers, watch your fingers, gently. Fingers, out of the road. Okay. Oh! oh. oh. There's Perfect literally, fit. that's, <laughs> yes. you can't fake that. <laughs> that is literally to the millimetre. It's meant to be. Wow. Very sweaty. That's awesome. <laughs> to the millimetre. There you have it guys, the easiest part is just putting the batteries in and we're going to just pull all this old wiring crap out and try and tidy it up a little bit just so it's a little bit safer. We're crossing the Indian Ocean and we want to have our power and have it right. Stay and tuned. some more food storage. So all so we this can now provision. will be for provisioning so we can get all of our flowers and whatnot in here. I'm so happy with That's the easy bit done. <laughs> So we've now got, what's that, five, six, seven fifty watts, oh sorry, 750 amp hours of battery as opposed to 660, which our bank's like four or so, five years old. Still good, all lead acid, but um, we just wanted to make sure they're not gonna die halfway through an Indian Ocean crossing. But yeah, we should be right now. Stay tuned for the installation. Doop, doop. Thanks for watching that episode. So you guys can't comment right now, but we have solved that situation. We've created a new YouTube channel. It's called Life on the Sea, and you'll be able to comment on there. So please go and subscribe and grow our community again. Also, we've launched our new website, lifeonthesea.com. Go check it out down below. See you next time, guys. See you next time, guys. <laughs> Ready? Start again. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> do that again. I don't think you'll like that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Thanks guys for watching that episode. <laughs> you got, oh, okay, ready? One, two, <laughs> don't, three. You can't, you make me laugh. Oh, you don't like that word. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. Let's do it again. <laughs> okay. Bye. We've also launched our new online store. Not bye. Life. <laughs> <laughs> Say it. No, I can say it. Ready, set, go. And grow our community. <laughs> I don't think I can say community. <laughs> Mama, stop making it. And grow. Saying it like a hundred thousand times. <coughs> That's a wrap. Are we done? <laughs>